So now let's look at Fireplotter's replay capability because Fireplotter is recording all the session data that's passing through your firewall, all the traffic information. How can we use this capability? So let's bring up Fireplotter. Here it is working away for us and we don't have a great deal of traffic going through our demo firewall here but what we can see is on the graph there was a spike of traffic here and I'd very much like to know what caused that spike of traffic specifically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Fireplotter's capability to go back historically by clicking on the graph at the time that I want to review. So I'm going to click here and now Fireplotter's asking me if I want to load the the session table historical log data from that moment and I'm going to say yes and what's going to happen is going to load that data into the session table and then pause Fireplotter at that moment. So here we have, so this is at 1721 which is about this time, exactly that time in fact and what I want to know is about this spike looks like it's syslog, I don't have all the information here because source IP is a multi-value field so I'm double going to double click there I'm going to reorder by in bytes per second and so now I can see that the majority of this spike was caused by this traffic creating this amount of traffic at that moment so this spike was on the mid hole caused by this session an inbound session syslog coming from this source IP address this source port going to this destination IP address on my internal network so you can see the fire plot is very powerful. Let's just go back to the default table view. And let's say, for example, I can see some red spikes here. I know this is email. Let's just go on this one. Let's get the session table from there. Pause there. Here's the email traffic at that moment. Drill down into the source IP. And the, the one that was creating most of that traffic was this particular session. So email coming in. There's two sessions there from this IP address, this source port going to this destination IP address this amount of traffic per second at that moment go back to default table view so you can see it's very powerful but it's not just that we can go back in the graph to see historically what's been happening with our traffic let's say someone reports that there was a problem with the internet performance a while back we can go into file open recorded data go into our firewall that we are monitoring choose a date that we're working on and the times I mean you'd probably have all the times here if you're recording continuously but if we went to an hour ago I can click on a particular time of traffic that I wanted let's say uh, this date at 16.53 load there and I'm going to pause Fireplotter so now I've, I've loaded that data and now I'm starting to play through it so we can see the time is at 16.53 and so I'm going to press play and I can see that this traffic is showing us the activity of what was happening in the firewall then the graphs are being built as the time rolls forward and this is going to continue to roll forward until we get to our current time so there's some web browsing going on there, let's just pause that let's just say we want to find out more about that web browsing so I'm going to uh, double click on the multi-value field here so I can see that this was outbound web browsing was three sessions coming from this source IP going to these particular destinations press play continue play I could slow it down a bit if I wanted to just to reduce the play interval if this was happening too quickly for me make it go even slower if we wanted to go back to the default table view so we can see our basic view a summary of protocols go back to the fast rate of playback so you can see very powerful and if we didn't want to wait to catch up back to real time because we've got um, some time to go now what I can do is simply press r reset to real time which will jump us straight to the current time and start uh, building the graphs and the session table from there. So I'm going to do that now. So this is what's happening at this moment. Our focus time is now more or less the same as real time. This is the current traffic that's passing through the firewall. 
So there you have it, very powerful replay capability of Fireplotter.